Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty. Well, beating again is way too much of a word, too aggressive. It is trying to survive as long as possible in uh, Legendary Iron Man with uh, 90 plus difficulty mods including double enemy squad size. Uh, yellow alert and a better advent plus about 60 different harder enemies and multiple factions it's time for operational final slumber and i hope that's not necessarily the final slumber for that campaign we had a, another haven assault mission and mind you that just uh, went completely downhill because of chrysalids and just too uh, too many attacks on us effectively we were uh, being found out by the aliens and killed but today trying to do that differently so we're bringing the a team grell and sonar we need that upgrade to uh, the captain rank we got endors here uh, freshly bonded together with zirkim so we get double bond um, team with the best equipment that we're having and synapse i brought quite a few explosives um, if I could have it my way, I would have potentially, instead of gotten a second Grenadier, uh, taken the Reaper, but I don't want to cause uh, tiredness. So instead, let's just train up uh, Synapse here. Hadn't been with us for a while, so might as well be that extra firepower that we need. Double Grenadier is never a bad strategy for the beginning. The problem the last time was that we simply did not have enough firepower, which I'm trying to rectify this time. And maybe, just maybe, we're not losing North America yet again. Alright, let's give it a go. So, we're landing. And as always, XCOM's just blatantly jumping into the ropes. If you've ever um, let yourself down from a helicopter, I can tell you that's not how it's done. But safety is not the main concern of XCOM. Good. The idea here is to not immediately lose soldiers. I could play very aggressively, but uh, the reality of it would be it's likely going to lead to losses of life. And I would rather like to lose this mission than to lose uh, the A-team at this point, because so much depends on just getting soldiers ranked up. Since we're not starting with concealment, you see me much more careful in the deployment. And, oh, well, 28. The Berserkers indeed have been reworked. 28 hit points and 2 armor. Perch Sectoid. Well, here we go. All right, at least a couple of our shots are actually hitting. There we go, that's the shredding. Good job, Zirkim. And the resistance fighters are taking high ground. Is this real life or are they actually... No, no, it's really XCOM because they pulled another pack. Good job, guys. I was about to say that looks like remotely uh, as such as a good decision, but no. It ended up being a few flanking shots, I give them that, but overall it was a pretty bad idea. This here is full cover for the most part and uh, flanking. We got run and gun. If I was to go to here, that potentially would be the better choice. 
still far enough away from that mutant legionnaire. Really? One hit point? Hmm. Okay. All right. Sam is moving up. We got a cover of flank here on the right hand side. That means getting rid of cover and exposing the perch sector. Who is without cover now? So this here. I was about to say this here should be a hit and hopefully a kill. And ors, come on. Very nice, good job. Good job, man. Full cover for Zirkim. We do have the stock, so this here is a 100% kill. Even if he would have been missing, it would have uh, counted as a kill. Let's move already. Hmm. I almost like the idea of Grelt uh, taking an overwatch here, but he will just take shots, and that is a 50-50. Not really good. Um, the teamwork seems wasted. Sonar is in a good spot. However, he could move in and start flanking Sonar, which of course I wouldn't want. So let's just make sure that we're playing safe, like I mentioned at the beginning. Yep, there we go. Civilians die. Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Oh boy. Take those bastards down. Good, we got some overwatch with a perch heavy. And I think we gotta deal with that berserk. Moving up into a flanking position. And that's a good old shotgun to the face trick. Never ceases to work or amaze. In the meantime, time to punish this berserker. Moving up into full cover on all of the sides. The positioning here is good. I like I like our overall position. Uh, that's a bit sloppy. There isn't really a good way to advance here. All right, aggressively moving in. Syn uh, Synapse is uh, taking the point position here. Everybody is in full cover. And that would be a definite... Um, a definite full shredding. Hmm. Uh, the other option, of course, is getting rid of cover, but I think I'll do that next turn. For now, we can just take that pot shot here. We can kill him next turn. Even if we miss, that's still some some uh, starter damage. We're okay for now. Right, so there's the overwatch. Potentially going to kill the other guy. Yep. Resistance operator just couldn't help himself but run into the overwatch. 
civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. Dunaps moves up. True to his name. Does the 100 IQ play with high ground and a big grenade and yes that was intentional because synapse is average um, average in his learning abilities Yes, really solid cover there. I don't I don't like it. I don't like it at all. We would need to run into half cover. Which is not a great start. But the alternative is we're going to lose more civilians, so Birkem moves up, 17% is not enough. That's a non-starter. Are we going to use more grenades? You know what? Why not? <laughs> is he really retained cover? Oh my gosh, like we removed everything but the one tree trump where he was uh, stand, uh, staying at fantastic good Ready to engage. overwatch with grell just in case he moves and other than that we are potentially going to take some punishment Well, hate to say it, but that potentially worked as good as it could. More berserkers. Oh boy, we're we're in for a lot of trouble. But I saw a mech, which gives me hope. If we can kill that mech, that could unclog our um, our current problem with uh, the Elarium research and there's some loot over here which yet again I don't like the fact that they kind of spoil the beans with this mod Okay, so moving up. Synapse finally takes care of this guy. Well, we have we've rescued one. Good job, Saiken. What a cracker jack job. We need that extra round to reload. This is crazy. We know there's a pack over here. Gotta be careful. Endos takes high ground. Not a perfect position, but finally we got some high ground going. Sona overwatches. That's maybe a shot against the Berserker. Alright, not too bad. 
I guess every little bit of damage counts. Oh, that was nasty. Yep, it sure looks like we're going to lose this one again. Okay, well that... It very much looks like we need to be taking a step back here. Kind of assessing our options. We know there is a Berserker. This is a very aggressive, uh, a very aggressive play. And I think I need more cover. Could go to here. I'll take an 8 protocol and this hopefully will be a kill, yes, but that guy just does not go down. Full cover here and luckily for us the stock helps us to kill that individual. But what exactly could we hack? Oh, we could hack the mech. Well, I think we're actually going to go for that. 8 protocol on sonar. And now this needs to be kind of the Hail Mary saving grace play. 30%. Nah. Nope. It could have, like, that was the high risk, uh, high reward play. Alright, Synapse goes on to Overwatch and. We, there are just too many hit points, plus a scrotum to add uh, insult to injury. I think the aliens have developed those little uh, buggers in order to teabag you after they killed you. Okay, we're being flanked and despite our best efforts, that is not looking good. I I think, uh, frankly speaking, we might be in a position where we need to withdraw a bit. That's just too much, uh, too many hit points to chew through. <sighs> Close. That could have been a kill. Double move, okay. Well, we gotta deal with the advent mech. I can handle that. Okay, there are several issues here. And I think we just got to shred some of these guys first. The 
The mech is a big problem and it needs to be shredded. So teamwork. Come on. Three armor. That's impressive. Sam does not have a grenade. Now would be a perfect timing for a grenade. Rel tries desperately to counter heal. We're in a bad spot, can't really Can't really continue to stay there, <coughs> not for long. Um, seven hit points. I could hand over a teamwork, and then Grell can heal, but. I could have done that much more efficiently by healing myself. I think we're okay. There is a chance for a crit. Yeah, not quite. Fifty-fifty to get rid of the trooper. Didn't work out. Synapse misses. And Grell needs to begin to heal herself. Good. We got some overwatch here. Not a really good round. R more a defensive measure of playing. And we're now going to very much lose... Okay, luckily we're in full cover, but that does not m mean much if they are just rushing into us. Still half cover here. No, that's a flanking shot. Ooh. Close one. Overwatch hits. That pretty much looks like an evacuation. <laughs> oh boy. We're just getting our teeth kicked in left and right and left and right. All right. Let's evac here. Getting rid of that poison. And he doesn't get rid of uh, the slow. Hmm. 
Well, that is bad. Can we call another Sky Ranger? No, we cannot. Could have called it right there. Which means we're forced to stay for another turn. Not my favorite endeavor. But it means we can take revenge uh, against that scrotum. Still got an assassin over there who will likely pin down uh, synapse. Gotta deal with the mech sooner than later. The Arkham is in a pretty exposed position. Would this here be okay? Yes, I think so. Full cover. And finally, we're getting the shredding that we wanted. Taking out the mech. And let's try to take out the scrotum. Right, that worked well. Yeah, we can't stand in the open here. Not enough movement to actually get there and kill the trooper. And I don't want to lose Grell. So we're going to move into full cover. That was full cover by the way, just in case you were thinking. The other one is flanking. Berserk is helping us like it. All right, got to take a short break um, because I have a business appointment, but I'll continue right here. Okay, we are back, or I'm back rather. Let's unclock and unwind this cluster F of a, of a situation. I really want to get out of here. But now we're having overwatches and potentially some extra loot. Five points of damage, 100% to hit. Uh, let's stay that one more round, be a bit greedy and get whatever loot is available. A repeater, okay. Keep in mind, repeaters are working a bit different in this campaign. They have been nerfed, so there won't be any extra damage, uh, uh, any insta-kills from them. Instead, it is all about extra damage. I would love to go to here, but that's potentially too far away. And we're just deal we're, we're potentially soon only dealing with Berserkers, which means if I could hit this here, that should be a an explosion on an explosion. Hmm. 
Hmm. That perch trooper is still alive. And well. I hate to see it. Nah, can't. Can't do that. Brel moves up into the high grounds and let's try to get that trooper. Okay, that worked. We got a promotion out of it. Full cover, potentially quite exposed spot for Synapse. But we need to get that assassin. Hundred percent or or we're going with a flashbang. Let's try that flashbang and crowd control him as much as possible. Next turn, I, we are getting out of here. Can't really win against those three berserks. Double move, not close enough, but this guy potentially will. Reach us, okay. Hmm. Yeah, that was equally frustrating but also unavoidable. Can't really see how else we would have gotten out of uh, out of that. Synapse, rest in peace, my brother. He was, truly was, the sacrificial lamb here. Zirkim takes away the armor. Before we are trying to kill him, really. Berserk is down to 4 HP. Andors might be able to kill him. <laughs> down to 1 HP. Too bad. Alright, so. Look, it is what it is. Grell got her promotion, that's what counts. And this mission, as expected, was pretty much a kick in the nuts. But it was more a kick in the nuts than I anticipated originally. Can't even rescue the corpses there. And there were a few troopers and a mech, uh, which would have helped us, but I don't see how we would have gotten through a hundred points of of uh, 100 hit points of those berserkers without mimic beacons or anything else it was just too much and yellow alert what it does really uh, do on those missions is it makes it so much more difficult to deal with the onslaught against uh, your civilians they are just targeting the civilians and it's not the typical limitation in normal XCOM, uh, only one pack is active and uh, will kill um, a so uh, will kill a civilian. But here, the the resistance operatives trigger three, four packs, and then it's basically over. We got Grell here, putting threat assessment in. I like what I'm seeing. She's fantastic. But she has just reached the captain rank. That is not good. And rip synapse. That was bad. Well, we got three supplies for rescuing that one guy. And 31 decrease. Plus we lost New Mexico yet again. Hmm. We are down to less than 100. No corpses, nothing. Low income, yeah. Thank you, game. I wouldn't have noticed myself. 
and that means 144 supplies the biggest and most important one now is 150 supplies for squad size uh, 2 that is more important than anything else Let's go with a facility lead, then into black market, into whatever else. We're low on intel. Halfway tempted to spend it on something. We can now research a facility lead, which will keep us in the game longer, because I'm not seeing that we expand as fast as I wish we would. Sell, sell some hate to do that but hmm viper corpses are important for improved medkits don't want to sell those two alarium cores boy this is painful to see just how little money we're having all right, let's can't, still can't upgrade the armor. That would be another no brainer. At least we can now bring six people. That's a huge step into the right direction. Yeah, we're still doing fine. I mean, four is reasonable, but really the story of this uh, run is not just how many people we're losing, but look at the continuous gravely wounded soldiers. That is harsh. So we need the infirmary next. Pretty clear with that. And, and starting to built a few extra weapons so we could go for supplies mm -hmm. into no let me just see can we buy something superior conditioning I was born of battle, of a desire to face yeah I know oh, this is going to suck because uh, that just cost us our entire intel but superior conditioning is too good to not actually use that if you think about uh, our problem with armor i would argue that superior conditioning is one of uh, the best one of the best options to improve um, the survivability of our operators and just have the, those top operators that can not die or that shall not die, have them equipped uh, with a bit more hit points that is necessary, which yet again brings us to zero intel. Uh, make contact, of course, doesn't work, so we can either scan for intel, or we're trying our luck with the intel here. I think we're better off just scanning for intel supplies is another option heal faster certainly could be an option but we need into there we go so that's helpful um, that is very helpful now naturally a couple of things Soldier Bond, good. Uh, facility lead isn't bad either. A superior PCS. Plus. Aim plus four. You know that that's really not bad. We could use that superior PCS and aim plus four is good. And it's a fast mission on top of it. Increase income could be decent as well. Uh, 13 supplies are is not bad. Six days for Intel and aim. Hmm. 
but the PCS is also quite good. I actually like that. Yes. There might be like superior agility, superior movement, superior conditioning and superior perception all would be good. There is a chance that we're getting superior focus, which we wouldn't want to have. But that's low. So uh, we really need better uh, to hit chances. Dilly G and Euler could go on to that one. Endos is, would be a fantastic candidate as well. But I think we're going to go with Euler because Grenadiers suffer from, um, from surprisingly low aim. And we would have a few more Grenadiers ready to go. So let's just do that mission. Or we're getting a corporate ops now. Nah, let's not get carried away, Saiken. This one is the right call. Plus four aim doesn't always happen, and you should you should really go for that. Plus four uh, aim actually is a good addition, and Euler has been a, has been a fantastic resource so far. That extra PCS will go a long way as well. That's worth. 45 Intel. And look at that. We got ourselves. At least some resources. So what we want to do is get more energy. And the infirmary is 10 short. Hmm. I need more money and I need that as of right now. Can't sell more Elarium cores, that would be unwise. Two sectored corpses, hate to do that. But the infirmary is important. Okay, I yeah. Let's just try to uh, speed that one up. Uh, we need the infirmary as of yesterday. We're just taking too long to regenerate from these massive, massive losses that we have. All the targeting sounds good. I still appreciate that idea. Chain shot isn't bad either. Okay, we're still at zero intel. This game will be lost on the strategic layer. I can already see that. The signs are pointing in the right direction. We're out of supplies, out of intel. Yeah, and can't use trooper corpses. We need supplies for some of the, uh, those things, uh, but they are actually quite good. Let's get one spider suit for our snipers. That's not a waste of time. That's why we're a bit too short on resources. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Radio relays. Very nice. Hmm. Can't go for Elarium. We're saving a few days if we're now going for alien encryption. The facility lead would take way more intel, so that's a no-starter. We got a few autopsies that would make sense 
uh, Viper one certainly does make sense. I already talked about the faces one for Mimic Beacons being a priority and the tower breakdown. But let's go with the alien encryption now and then we're slowly getting through the autopsies. Yeah, we could build a radio relay and it's good to see that they are they would be ready. What do we have inside knowledge? Weapon modifications would be increased. That's great. I love it. Integrated warfare. Uh, that's additional PCSs. Fantastic. And we don't know about any others. So good continent bony uh, so far. But unfortunately, we're lacking resources left and right. We're getting 60. That is not good. Can summon Advent Priests. Uh, that is bad. We all hate Advent Priests. And they are now cracking down on our income. Okay, so we got Arbor Gate and Thunder Mountain. Let me shortly check what both of them are. Good, I checked it and I don't like it. Arbor Gate uh, is the project that immediately lets you fail the entire campaign the moment that you fail a single mission. That in combination with just the terror missions that I've seen is would, would end the campaign. So we are, no matter what we're, we are going to counter that. Um, Thunder Mountain uh, apparently uh, does deploy stormtroopers, uh, which seem to be stun lancers with even longer range and zappers. I don't know how strong they are, but that is really, really, really bad. Uh, but that here is like life threateningly bad, so we need uh, to counteract it. Good, immediately finishing uh, ammo projects. We can definitely use that. We could get plus 10% supply drops. Hmm. Hmm. It would be great if we had a lot of supply drops, but the problem is uh, this is really one of the issues. So might as well just increase all of the mission rewards by 15%, or we're going for vengeance because this is a deadly, uh, this is a deadly uh, campaign. But like I said, we are potentially losing it on the strategy layer, so I need more resources. This here looks suboptimal. That is great. That is great. That is so and so. That's definitely all of the resource ones are just not strong enough. They should have doubled or tripled the values to make them somewhat decent. My people will listen, whether they like it or not. All right, got fifty-seven supplies. My followers require assistance. And that isn't bad. Like an engineer plus a sergeant grenadier is fantastic and 120 intel. That's really, really good. We're fighting against the horde and dark elders. And we're still not having lures. So I don't know. I mean, it could be good, um, but it equally could be bad. That's already four factions, Advent, Dark Elders, Horde and us battling it out but I suppose 120 into the game is throwing us a bone because we need more resources with 120 until we can continue to make contact and hopefully or we can build that tower here to get the inside knowledge bonus and go for integrated warfare or yeah try to go for Europe really um, the intel might actually be used for a facility lead. I don't know. I'm not sure if we can reach the enemies fast enough. 
like this here looks like a long shot we will potentially not get there in time so might as well take the intel and most of it to to simply research the facility lead to have one uh, one stopping uh, factor this will soon fill up and we need a way of stopping it okay well doesn't really look uh, too promising for us we're still not having the necessary corpses half of our crew is sitting in the mat bay we're having a lot of sergeants i mean that's the upside and we can circle through all of our um all of our um, operatives but just having one captain at this point not really optimal all right good well it is what it is i told you it's going to become harder it just needed some more time to develop um the one thing that i will do is experimental ammunition venom rounds okay we do have five more cores let's get a second one dragon rounds okay not what i was hoping for but it's better than nothing it's it's a start for uh, for giving the sniper something to do and and maybe even our uh, our ranger yeah it's okay anyways thanks guys for watching if you enjoyed uh, what you've uh, seen try loading sni uh, a few dragon rounds into your uh, hand gun and take aim at the uh, like button i promise you it will not be immune to the status effects take care and see you in two days bye bye